Hi guys, it's Kiki Love and Kiki Loves You. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about church scandals. Ah! What the heck was that? Let's just cover house things. First of all, lips look like a dude because it just ate, and I don't know where my lip gloss is. It is what it is. Also, um, I don't have my glasses on, so I might be going in and out a lot more than usual. I feel like lately it's been a little in and out. And I had all my glasses. I can't stand the glare, but so yeah. Anyway, look, we're gonna figure this out. In this video, I wanted to talk about something I saw on the righteous and wretched, the righteous and wretched. I freaking love it. I don't know if I started to the right or the left. Can't really tell, but it's whatever. The Righteous and the Ratchet is a podcast put together by Heb on Stage and Doughboy. And you probably know them from ADD. I just recently found out about the podcast and I've been listening to a few episodes. And I came across one that was talking about Kenneth Copeland. Hopefully I said the name right. I don't really know. I don't really know who he is. Apparently this pastor bought a PJ that... I don't know how much it was. Didn't look into it that much. Didn't really care. Let's keep it a buck. Guys, I honestly didn't care. Oh well. So he bought this private jet and Doughboy had feelings about it and Kev had feelings at the same time. Doughboy was like he had a lot of church hurt and stuff like that. That's a whole nother video. That's a lot of stuff. But he was like he's seen, you know, the mismanagement of money and stuff like that. And Kev was like, I actually can see why a pastor might need this plane. And Kev gave a pretty good explanation as to why a pastor might need a plane. However, I personally chiming in do not think that with the answer that that pastor gave he needs a jet now the answer or the explanation that kev gave makes a whole lot of sense like i could get behind it i can understand that but that's not the explanation that that pastor gave and i'm real real big on don't get nobody no house so if it didn't come out your mouth if you didn't say it i'm not trying to hear it so going solely off what that pastor said even if he was put on the spot he doesn't need one like he he didn't need it but in this situation i don't go to his church i didn't give any money to that ministry i ain't buy a book or none of that like i'm not a part of anything he didn't take any of my money to my knowledge so i don't care what that man does with that money like in a way i do but fully i really don't like it's not directly affecting my pocket it's whatever but that kind of got me to thinking a little more about different salaries that different pastors have especially like when you have like you know you know you got the little corner churches and then you got the mega churches over here and everything so you know salaries different do you think pastors really should you know get all that money or do you think that pastors need you know private jets pastors need all that stuff but also like church scandals like what, what do you do when a pastor does X, Y, and Z and all this stuff? So I wanted to talk about what it's like to see a pastor with a private jet or to see a pastor have X, Y, and Z, all this money and do all these things or whatever. As a person that is a Christian, as a person that does tithe. For me, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> in a sense, it does, but in another sense, it, it really doesn't to me. I would like to see the money that I give going to church doing what it's supposed to do which is taking care of those around us but i understand that being a pastor is a job if you think about it you get paid for the job that you do don't you wouldn't you think that they should get paid for the job that they need to do so for me long story short it's okay i don't have a problem with you know people making more money uh, because a lot of the times if you think about it these people end up writing books they end up doing podcasts they end up doing uh sermons at different places and stuff like that they're getting paid other ways than just from the church from just like tithes and stuff like that like they're getting other funding from other places there's other stuff we don't necessarily know about so i don't have a problem with them having money and you know taking care of their lives because they have families and they need to take care of their families their families have to eat they're like you know their children probably want to go to college and stuff like that like they need to be able to take care of their families just like you're able to take care of yours so for me being a christian that ties i understand them having x y and z because they have families or even if they don't have like children and stuff like that they still need money you know like why wouldn't you want to have money that you can save why wouldn't you have want to have money that you can just give to other people why wouldn't you want to get paid for doing what god has called you to do i'm just trying to figure it out i personally believe that me doing youtube videos eventually will lead to something where i get paid from this like i don't get paid to make these videos praise god i know to come one day i don't get paid to do this but this is my gifting talking editing doing stuff like this is a part of my gifting and I believe that God gives us our gifts, not only to make money from it, but to bring him glory. And through it, when you work at the more, it's, 
go watch my gift the video i put up about gifting i'm gonna i'm gonna get off this right now but another part i wanted to touch on briefly <laughs> was the whole thing of it being a scandal or when pastors do certain things i understand but i also understand that pastors are people i know we want to hold them to a higher regard and stuff like that but they're people like they gonna mess up they human they not gonna have it all together they gonna fall short in some areas so yeah you know maybe you expect them to have stricter convictions than you i, I don't i don't fully understand why i can't fully speak to this entire like i can't speak to it I don't, I don't anything I say isn't for like concrete and everybody should do it it's just from my perspective and in this situation I understand that pastors are people they have lives they mess up just like we mess up just like we make mistakes just like we want grace they also need grace for their actions but just because they're pastors doesn't mean they're better than you like I have a problem if a pastor thinks that you know other people are measuring sticks for himself like you know if, if you period anybody if you think that somebody else is a measuring stick of how holy you are how good you are then that's a problem the standard is jesus in jesus alone like nobody else can be the standard for you like that should be it if you are not christ-like there's nothing else like you just do it just be like christ i mean that's just all you got so matthew 23 23 woe to you teachers of the law and pharisees you hypocrites you give a tenth of your spices mint dill and cumin but have neglected the more important matters of the law justice mercy and faithfulness you should have practiced the latter without neglecting the former now write that verse because in situations like this it reminds me that god is watching i give as though it is unto god and not unto man you know what i'm saying like what god would say about what i'm doing matters more than what somebody else would say about what i'm doing like so when i think about like money scandals or if you if you will um, like situations that deal with money in the church I remember that in this situation I need to pray to God for justice I need to show mercy to this person and I need to continue to be faithful in giving my money to God because I'm not giving it to whomever is preaching I'm giving it to God so guys I will link the podcast in the description below so please go check it out and listen to everything that was said it was really good it was really great really great exquisite it was exquisite um yeah and so until next time know that kiki loves you leave something in the comment section first time i'm telling y'all to say something first time remember that i don't i don't say it that often but drop something in the comment section let me know if you believe in tithing or not yeah we can talk about tithing um and i'll see y'all in my next video until next time i love you